Ah uh, yes, my preamp sugar daddy strikes again. Michael Torrin is letting me borrow his uh, Langner preamp. What is a Langner, you may ask? Uh, well, I'm sure you all know the ADA MP1. Todd Langner was, the, I believe, the lead designer on that. Uh, so that alone is like, all right, uh, Langner. I'm very interested in this. Um, the only time... I actually had heard one before this. I went to see Testament right after Alex Skolnick had left. I was bummed because I loved Alex was playing. Uh, and they had this dude up there, uh, Glenn Avilas. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Avilas. And he had, uh, oh, he, he just shredded. It, it was amazing. It was perfectly, I was perfectly happy. There was sweet picks and taps and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I was very happy. It's like, who's this guy? Hard to find stuff on him. And what was he playing through? And I could see his rack. It was like a small rack. And there was this cool looking seafoam thing. And then it turns out it's a Langner preamp. And it turns out that my buddy Michael Torrin actually got Glenn's. This is actually Glenn's. So um, how cool is that? It is a two channel preamp plus a boost. It is pretty much only does thrash and you know uh todd langner was like a bay area thrash amp modding guru uh let's see i think george this had shown up in george lynch's rig at some point not this one but a, a different one but also everything has shown up in george lynch's rig at some point or, or another um it was in the helmets rig uh page had one in there which makes sense too because it's a little industrial sounding very cool very cool stuff. So I'm going to show you some stuff. I have just checking to make sure I'm recording here. I'm actually plugging this directly into my Two Notes Cab M with the power amp simulation and the cab. So it's a... Uh... It sounds good. And especially if I'm just going to turn some knobs, I'm going to try not to disturb everyone in town here. So right off the bat, let me just give you a quickie here. It's got an un godly amount of gain. So we're on uh, the, the channel, basically. This is gain, it's not master volume. AC-DC level of gain. It's just, you have to, you're barely cracked open and it's uncomfortable to sit here. All right, so nine o'clock. is fully saturated. 12 o'clock. I don't know, what do you do after 12 o'clock? All right, here's all of it. For those people that always complain, not enough gain, not en enough gain, it's all there. All of the gain was put into this preamp. So from there, there's also a boost section. Throw in the boost. Oh, here's raw. So that will allow you to go to a new master volume level, which is cool for solos. It rolls off highs, and then there's a fat, which fats. Don't know what that does, but it fats. And then we've got a clean, which is just straight up clean. I got, do I got knobs up? So again, this gain, no, the gain is at noon. Going down to, like, nine. Just quieter. Three. Just a little fatter, but louder. It's, there's no in-between. You're not going to get a matchless tone out of this. It's not, you're not going to get a bluesy tone out of this. Unless you're uh, a really angry bluesy player. It's Bay Area Thrash. Oh, yes. 
All right, let's zoom in and I'll show you some uh, knobby attorneys. All right, so we're in the clean. There's level, high contour, treble, mid, bass, and limit, which is the master volume, and then a full-blown master volume at the end. So it's basically... High contour, I think, is like a shelf. It changes the sparkle, the treble. The tone controls are very, almost like a hi-fi, not very guitar ampy. All right, into the crunch. Uh, again, high contour, low contour, treble mid bass, and then the master volume for that. So high contour. Subtle. Low contour. Little subs seem to come in there. Uh, treble. kind of hard to dial in anything tight. It's more big. So let's say you're chunking out there and you want to take a solo, the fat. I can't tell what it is. If it's another gain stage, it doesn't really feel like it. Uh, high cut. And then you could get more level. Okay. That 
that's kind of all of the sounds in there. So that's it. Uh, it's definitely what you'd call like a one trick pony, but it's a pretty badass trick. Uh, man, when I was a late teenager, I would have killed to have that much chunky, chunky, chugga, chugga game going on. Um, but now you could get it a little tighter places, but still for good old Bay Area thrash scene stuff like Exodus, uh, Testament, big junk 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 thing it's pretty phenomenal they are pretty rare they almost never come up for sale and they're usually quickly sn snapped up um when they are and i think people just hoard them i've seen pictures where people have like two or three uh even just a whole room full of langner stuff uh sadly todd passed away so there isn't going to be any more either so it's a cool Langner DCP. Uh, I do have profiles of this available. If you're interested, check out bigharryprofiles.com and it's over there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.